In this video, we are going to look into a second order difference equation, which includes initial conditions. So you would often look into the acronyms, which are linear constant coefficient difference equation appearing in these sort of examples. So in the preamble, let us look into the time shifting property of unilateral Z transform. That is if we have X of N minus one, so it's Z transform, that is the unilateral Z transform is Z inverse X of Z plus the initial condition, which is X of minus one. So this is our initial condition. So we will be using this property in this example. Now we are asked to solve the following difference equation. That is we have y of n plus 2 minus 5 y n plus 1 plus 6 y of n and this is equivalent to 3x of n plus 1 plus 5x of n and we're given with some initial conditions and they are y of minus 1 this is equivalent to 11 by 6 and y of minus 2 this is equivalent to 37 by 36 so also the input that is x of n is simply 2 power minus n u of n so we need to determine the zero input response and zero state response of this system plus also we are interested in the total response that is y of n so a second order difference equation with input given and initial conditions are given and we are asked to find the zero input response and the zero state response so in the preamble we have the time shifting property of the unilateral z transform that is in the form of x of n minus 1 so this is in the form of time delay but since this is linear constant coefficient difference equation and this is in terms of linear time invariant systems so time shift at input leads to time shift at output or simply what I'm trying to say is we can have a new variable which is k and this is simply equal to n minus 2 now by setting this variable that is k which is equal to uh, n minus 2 we rewrite this expression so we would have simply y of k minus 5 y of k minus 1 plus 6 y of k minus 2 and on the right side which involves the input so we would have 3x of k minus 1 plus 5x of k minus 2 so hence we have now again the second order difference equation but right now this is in the form of time delay rather than time advance so we're going to solve this problem for this modified difference equation for the second difference we have a z transform which is y of k minus 2 and this has a z transform which is z minus 2 y of z plus z inverse y of minus 1 plus y of minus 2 similarly from here we have y of k minus 1 and this would simply be z inverse y of z plus y of minus 1 so the value of y of minus 1 is simply 11 by 6 and similarly y of minus 2 is 37 by 36 which is mentioned over here 
Now also for the input side. So for the input we are given the information that x of n is 2 power minus n u of n. So we have 2 power minus n u of n. So its z transform is desired. So let us change this into a more simpler form so we can have 1 by 2 raised to power n u of n and we know it's the transform which which is very straightforward that is it is z over z minus 1 by 2 or simply 0 0.5 with absolute value of z greater than 0 0.5 now this is our x of n and this is over here our x of z now using this intuition of the input now we have x of k minus 1 we have x of k minus 1 its z transform is simply z inverse x of z plus x of minus 1 and that is simply this function would multiply with z inverse so this would cancel with this one and we would simply have 1 over z minus 0 0.5 x of minus 1 is simply 0 why is it 0 because if you put the value of minus 1 over here in the unit step function so this will become 0 and overall it will become 0 so hence this has a z transform which is simply 1 over z minus 0 0.5 Similarly, for x of k minus 2, we have simply z minus 2 x of z plus z inverse x of minus 1 plus x of minus 2. Now again, x of minus 1 and x of minus 2 from this unit step function would actually cancel and they would not be there. And now if you multiply z minus 2 times x of z where x of z is this function. So this z would cancel with one pole at the origin. So simply we would have 1 over z, z minus 0 0.5. So now we have the formulation in terms of z. So as taking the z transform of this expression would lead to this would become y of z. This would come from here and so on so plugging in all of this in the difference equation so this would lead to following z transform y of z minus 5 1 by 2 y of z plus 11 by 6 plus 6 1 by z square y of z plus 11 by 6 z plus 37 by 36 so this is equivalent to 3 over z minus 0 0.5 plus 5 over z z minus 0 0.5 so next we can take common uh, the terms which are in terms of y of z so we would have y of z 1 minus 5 by z plus 6 by z square so next we would have some terms which are from the initial conditions for example this term and these two terms so these would be 3 minus 11 by z and this is equivalent to you can take the lcm of this so this would be z z minus 0 0.5 and over here we have 3z plus 5 so as this is a term which is coming from our input that is this is an input term this is on the right side and in the difference equation that leads to this input term moreover this is our initial condition terms So in order to simplify further 
we multiply both sides by z square so this would become z square plus 5 z plus 6 and we have y of z so this i'm going to bring on the right side now we have z times 3 z minus 11 note that we have multiplied by z square in the initial condition term we would have z 3 z plus 5 over z minus 0 0.5 so we have simply z minus 2 and z minus 3 y of z equal to this expression and we can say y of z is z 3 z minus 11 over z minus 2 z minus 3 plus z 3z plus 5 over z minus 0 0.5 z minus 2 and z minus 3 so this was from the input term so hence this is our zero state response while this was from the initial conditions so this leads to our zero input response so on these two we can uh, convert this into simply y z of z which is a modified form of y of z and then we can find the relevant partial fractions so in short we would have after that y of z equivalent to 5 z over z minus 2 minus 2 z over z minus 3 so again this is the terms for the zero input response next we would have the terms for zero state response which are 26 by 15 z over z minus 0 0.5 minus 22 over 3 z over z minus 2 and then z minus 3 for that the coefficients are simply 28 by 5 z over z minus 3 we can take uh, the inverse z transform from here which is quite straightforward so we would have y of n that is equivalent to 5 2 raised to power n minus 2 3 raised to power n so from here now minus 22 by 3 2 power n plus from here 28 by 5 3 power n and from here we have plus 26 by 15 1 by 2 power n and this whole thing is multiplied by the unit step function u of n so that is this part is the zero state response and we have this as the zero input response lastly we can combine these modes together to find the total response that is y of n and by adding 2 power n together so we would have minus 7 by 3 2 power n plus 18 by 5 3 power n plus 26 by 15 1 by 2 power n 
and it's u of n so this completes our explicit expression of y of n